you guys. So I have a follow-up video for you today. About a month ago, I posted a video on my sticker storage, and I have had so many of you ask if I would do the follow-up video and show how I finished um, labeling all of my little tabs. And also, I will share with you guys all of the stickers that I have in each of the little storage spots. So I will link the very first video in the description box for you guys. Basically, I just used this really cute little box and it does have a little lid on it but because I had the tabs I'm not able to close it which is totally fine. I put this on my Rascog cart and it fits perfectly in the middle section and then the little lid part just hangs along the back and you don't even see it. I have used this so much. I absolutely love this storage system and so I will get into sharing with you guys it. Um, if you do want to see how to make it I will have um, my previous video that I talked more in depth about that but this video is basically just to show what um, categories I did for the different tabs and also to show the stickers that are in each of the little categories. So I did make it using my own pattern paper and gold foiled washi and so um, I was able to really customize it with the colors and pretty pattern papers that I wanted to use and I do show that in the other video as well. So I'll get started by showing you all the tabs and I wanted to mention too these cute little bow tabs. This is from a die and that die is actually super old. It's one of the first dies that I ever bought for my scrapbooking and die cutting machine and you're not able to purchase them anymore but I have cut out a ton of these cute little bow tabs. They kind of come like this to begin with and then what you do is you just fold them and it makes a cute little bow and then you can put them on like your different dividers. So because you're not able to get the die I thought maybe some of you um I know some of you were wanting to make one like this yourself so I'm going to list some of these in my Etsy shop for those of you who would be interested. I'll do like different categories of maybe like random colors like you could use them for scrapbooking as well so I'll do maybe some listings for like pink colors like all the different rainbow colors and I'll link my Etsy shop below as well and if you do head over there you can use the coupon code crafty girl and that will save you 10% on your order. So let's get into these cute little dividers. So I'll just go through each little divider and then I will show you what's in them. So my tabs have all of the names on them. If you do purchase these ones in my Etsy shop they won't have the actual names written on them because I'll let you guys do that so that you could make yours what's functional for you. But for mine, the very first spot I have is samplers. Now in the sampler section, I keep all of my little sampler sheets and I have so many of them. All of the Etsy shops are so kind and they all send such sweet little samples. Um, and I also keep, these are from Panda Bird Design. She sends these little monthly, um, whoops, thank you cards. They're so sweet and I've been saving those for Project Life. I also have the little Erin Condren sampler book that came in my Erin Condren and she basically just sends these so you can see the quality of her stickers which are actually really nice so that was a little freebie book. And then there's a few companies for sticker companies that have these cute little collectible stickers. So for Rainbow Bunny Co. you have to collect these little carrots. So I have one so far. So I keep that in there so I don't lose it. And then Coffee Monsters Co. also does that. So you collect little coffee beans. And I actually have purchased from her multiple times. So I have an extra little sheet as well. And then Kina Prince sent this cute sticker with my name on it. I wanted to keep that. And this was also really sweet from Kina Prince. So I just kept that in there. So it's kind of just like where I put extra little tidbits from the shops. I'll show you each of the little samplers. This is one of the samplers from Stick With Me Shop. One of my honestly favorite shops. So stinking cute. And I'm totally like hoarding that one. This is a freebie from Once More With Love. And I love that little birthday girl. It was my first purchase from Fox and Cactus and they actually sent an extra freebie sampler and then this was the sampler that kind of like everyone got. So cute. This one is from the sticker party. She used to be the abundance of Erica. Oh my gosh my hand is so shaky. I just had a cup of coffee so sorry about that. Um, So this is now the company is called the sticker party. So I have a few of her freebies and when you get stickers from her shop she puts your name on your little freebie which is so cute and this is sticker paper so you you can cut out your name and you have a little sticker with your name on it. And I will link all the shops below that I've talked about. I'll try to make sure I get all of them, but if there's a specific shop that you don't see the link for below, let me know and I'll try to find it. This one is from Wendy Prince and I've used a bit on this one already. 
This one is from Happy Planner Gal. This was an awesome freebie. It came with like the little Zoom Zoom heads on it, which I love. This one's from Happy Cutie Studio, and I love this one. Like hers come in little shapes. So this was at Christmas. I got the little tree. This was a freebie from my shop that I had sent out with some orders. This is from Rainbow Bunny Co. This one is Wild Sunshine Co. I think I got that one with Panda Bird Design. She always, when she sends out her freebies, she'll have some freebies for other shops as well, which is really neat because it introduces you to those shops. So I think that's how I got that one. Here is Panda Bird Design. I love her freebie sheets. Scribble Prints Co. And as you can see, I used a lot of that one. Here is Panda Bird Design. This one is another freebie from Stick With Me Shop. Kina Prints. I'll try not to go too fast, but I also don't want to like make this video too long. This one is from Bubble Mon Co., I think. Um, Bubble Bear Studios. That was another one that came with a Panda Bird Designs sh sheet. And I don't know who this one was from. It doesn't have it on it. I think this was from like when I very first started buying planner stickers. Here is another one from Fox and Cactus. This one is Sparkly Paper Co. This one is Blush and Chai. Another one that came with a Panda Bird design set. This one is Miscellaneous Boulevard. Once more with love. Once more with love. Once more with love. Actually, sorry, these ones are the Coffee Monster Co. This one's Once More With Love. This one's Coffee Monsters Co. I always get the little munchkins mixed up. Like, they're totally different, but kind of the same. <laughs> And then this is from Glam Planner. These are glossy. She has such nice stickers. Rainbow Bunny Co. and L Plans. So that is everything that I had in my sampler set and um, in the little category there. And I kind of just use those every time I plan. Here are the ones that I have in the next section. I have a section for drinks. And I have drinks because I love coffee. Every single planner layout pretty much starts with coffee for me. So I have quite a bit of coffee stickers. This one's from Coffee Monsters Co., these are from Abundance of Erica, which is now called The Sticker Party. I'm in Canada, so I love these Tim Hortons cups. This one is from Planner-esque. These ones are from Once More With Love. I love the little tea party set. These coffee break ones are from Kina Prints. Sparkly Paper Co. I think they're totally cute to like start out a Monday with. This one is Happy Cutie Studio. Love her stickers as well. And Kina Prints. There's a little cutie and it says coffee break. So I always have all my drinks in that one. And then the next one is all food related stickers. Um, I just have a few that are like random bits from a long time ago. I think this one is from, oh, I can't even think of the name. I'm sorry. This one is so old. I don't remember who it was, but I try really hard now to keep all of them still on the like sheet. So I have the branding strip of who it is. This one's Once More With Love. I love those little cuties. This one is Stick With Me Shop. Those little Tsum Tsums are so cute. And I see these little cinnamon roll ones. These were given to me in a pocket letter swap that I had done. Um, this one was gifted to me as well, so I'm not sure which shop that one came from. This one is Stick With Me Shop. It was a really cute Valentine's kit. Um, this one is Orange Sticker Co., I think it's called. Um, Planner-esque, The Little Pizzas. This one is Joy of Planning, and this is a new shop, and her stickers are absolutely amazing. They're on, like, a kind of, like, it's not glossy. It's a nice, like, matte, but it feels like a nice, like, vinyl-y gloss, kind of. And these are so cute if you're, like, having onion rings and there's little wings. These two were also gifted to me in a pocket letter swap. Um, once more with love. This was a Tuesday, um, $2 Tuesday deal. This one is from Rainbow Bunny Co. And I just thought these were so, so adorable for like a date night or if I'm going out for dinner with my husband. These ones are from my shop. My shop is Sparkly Crafty Shop. And I love pancakes. We go out for pancakes a lot. So that one is from my shop. Abundance of Erica, which is now the sticker party. These ones are from my shop. These ones are also from my shop. This is like the regular size and then the like mini size. So that's a good comparison for you there. Um, this one is Bubbly Mon Stickers Co. Coffee Monsters Co. I love these ones so much. Um, there's just a little donut in there. I don't know where that one's from. This one is Joy of Planning, and these are so adorable. I love the little oatmeal and blueberry one, and the eggs are so cute. Then I have the little slow cooker ones. These are from Happy Cutie Studio, and another one from um, Stick With Me Shop. 
So that was the food category. The next category that I have is household. And I have quite a bit in here. This is kind of where stickers go that don't really... Um, have an actual category but that are kind of house related like things around the house or things kind of like day to day for my husband and I so I put this telephone one which is by once more with love there's this one here which has like the little curly phone extension and it has a little heart which is so precious and I love this one too as she's kind of just like standing there all cute um this one's from planner ask it had more but I chopped that up this one is from my shop. It's a cute little, like, perfect for summer one with, like, little watering cans. And I just love this little cutie here. And she's doing some gardening. And then there is the smaller size from my shop. So there's the, like, big size and small size comparison. This one, um, I forget where this one is from. Sorry. This one are cute little gas stickers. This is from Happy Cutie Studio. Happy Cutie Studio. Stick With Me Shop. I love this one. It's all for things for organizing. So like clean out your wallet, organize your closet, your handbag, your receipts, and your desk. And this one just says like time to organize. These are so cute. This is by Fox and Cactus. And I totally purchased these because there was a little bunny one here. And I thought that would be so cute for Easter. Um, the next one is by Rainbow Bunny Co. And I love this little grocery one. This one is by Joy of Planning. So cute. Um, I love these. These are by Fox and Cactus. They're called um, Significant Otter Time. So I love using those on the weekends. And you can tell I already use like half of them. This one's Happy Cutie Studio. I love this date night one. That's by Sparkly Paper Co. And these little work ones are by Happy Cutie Studio. So that was everything that was in the household section. And then... Um, the next section is cleaning, and I have quite a bit in the cleaning section. Um, these first ones are by Sparkly Paper Co. They're really cute little unicorns, and it's just like daily cleaning things. This one is from Planner-esque. Once more with love. I love any ones that are like changing the bed sheets. These are from my Etsy shop. These are cute if you're taking a bath or if you want to use them for cleaning. So there is the larger size and the mini size. These are from Planner-esque, Coffee Monsters Co., Sparkly Paper Co., Happy Cutie Studio. These ones are from Rainbow Bunny Co., so cute washing the dishes. Stick With Me Shop. These are from my shop, and these were misfits. It cut through, so normally if you buy stickers in my shop, it would not cut through, but I just kept these for me because they're still totally usable, and it'd be sad to just throw them out because of um, it cutting too deep, so I kept those for myself, but those ones are the larger size of the little, um, like, folding or washing things and I love the cute little bows um this one is the clean fridge stickers by happy cutie studio coffee monsters co happy cutie studio happy cutie studio the cute little changing sheets which is from happy cutie studio and this one is also for my shop and again it's just a misfit that I kept for myself and there are those cute little mice with the little pink head bow and they are just folding towels and I apologize that my dogs are barking my mom has a chihuahua as well I have two chihuahuas Daisy and Diego and my mom has a chihuahua and we are puppy sitting this weekend so my mom's chihuahua is super barky so every time she barks then my dogs just go like crazy so I apologize for the little bit of barking here is the shopping category. So in the shopping section, um, again, I have a few that I don't know where they came from. This was a printable that was free online that I printed off, and it doesn't give you the cut file for it, so I just have to trim those out if I want to use them, but it literally gave a whole sheet of them. This is from Weaved and Olive 2, and then these ones are from Sparkly Paper Co. They're so cute. It says, don't judge me. Oops, bought more stickers, and I regret nothing. This one is from Happy Cutie Studio, Stick With Me Shop, Bubbly Mon Stickers Co., Coffee Monsters Co. So that's everything that was in the shopping category. The next category I have is Happy Mail. And I like the Happy Mail category because I really like getting cute little Happy Mail stickers. It's fun to track your Happy Mail in your planner. So this one is by Weaved and Olive 2, Abundance of Erica, which is now called The Sticker Party, Once More With Love, Bubbly Mon Stickers Co., Bubbly Mon Stickers Co., Kina Prints, I love these ones with the little polka dots. This one is from Oh Hello Michelle, and these little guys have the cute little kawaii faces, and I love the watercolor look of them. And then this one's also from Bubbly Mon Stickers Co. So that was everything for Happy Mail. 
The next category I have is beauty, and I don't have a lot in this category. I have some larger sheets that I had got a long time ago, and I have them cut down. I don't know the company, but that company's not in um, production anymore, so... Um, I don't know where you would get those ones, but that's all that I had in the beauty section for, I hope to get more of those, especially because these nail polish stickers, they're pretty big, so I want to get some more like little ones. The next section is health, and I put quite a range of things in this. Not necessarily sick, but still kind of just like looking after your body, like healthiness and like naps and that kind of thing I put in there. So this one is from my shop. It's a cute little bath, and there's a little mouse in there with a ducky. Um, this one is from Once More With Love, Fox and Cactus. I love these sleep-in stickers. These are from Once More With Love, so I kind of have some, like, six stickers in there. This one's from Once More With Love, um, Stick With Me Shop, the Coffee Monster Co. Um, I love these Lazy Day stickers. These are from Oh Hello Michelle, and if you can see, the little pillows on them are floral. They're so precious. This one is from Once More With Love and Happy Cutie Studio. So that's everything that was under the health section. Now for fitness. Again, I have a few stickers in here that I had printed offline. Um, the ones that I printed offline are these ones. It was a free printable. I'm not sure where those ones were from, but if you just searched free printable like exercise stickers, you'd probably be able to find them. They came in like a big range of colors. Oh, look. It was called... Planner Addiction. So if you want to look for that shop, that's where I got those printables. I'm not sure if they were free or if I paid for them, but they would have probably been um, somewhere online. I also have these workout stickers, which are super old, and I'm not sure which company those came from. These ones are from my shop. They're like a little cheat day sticker, and there's a little mouse with a bow, and she's sitting in a donut. These little soccer stickers, my husband plays soccer, so I have these, and I've used up a ton of them. That's from Happy Cutie Studio. And then this is my favorite workout sticker. It's by Panda Bird Design, and it's a ton of glittery rose gold sneakers, and any day that I work out, I put that on my planner, and I love that. So that's everything that was in fitness. Um, the next section I have is appointments. So for appointments, I have any type of labels that I would put an appointment or something important that I had to do. These are really cute. It's all different like clocks and you can put the time on the clock, which is so cool. Those are from Stick With Me Shop. These are from The Sticker Party. They're little post-it tacks. Love those. Stick With Me Shop. These are Joy of Planning. They're like cute little doctor stickers. Stick With Me Shop. Um, this was from a Stick With Me Shop kit, and I just have one little important um, sticker left there that I'm going to use. Stick With Me Shop and Stick With Me Shop. So that's everything from the appointment section. The next section is probably my favorite. This is the craft section. So anything creative or crafty or planner related goes in there. This one is from Bubble Mon Stickers Co., this one is from Kina Print. They're cute little notebooks, so if I want to journal, I could use those. This one is also by Kina Print. There's a cute little watercolor one, so I thought this would be cute if I wanted to decorate my traveler's notebook or something, so I just have it in there. These are from Planner-esque, and this used to be full of washies, so I, like, totally killed that sticker sheet. These are another printable. I'm not sure where those ones came from, but they're just planner stickers. Once more with love. Bubbly Mon Sticker Co., some more of those glittery planners. Um, Kina Prints, those are really fun. I love these by Kina Prints. It says eek. I always say e, and so I love how this says eek. These are from a Stick With Me Shop planner kit, and these were just left over, and I thought they were cute for planner-related um, spreads. And now this one is also from Stick With Me Shop, Stick With Me Shop, Stick With Me Shop, once more with love. Um, Sparkly Paper Co. I love these paper clips. I sell paper clips in my Etsy shop. If you haven't been over, please head over and check it out. It would mean so much to me. And I always like to keep track of my planner clip releases, which every Sunday I have a plan with me go up and I feature my new release planner clips in it. So that happens every Sunday. So I love keeping track of that in my planner. These are from Joy of Planning. Once more with love. Um, I love crocheting and knitting, so I have both the crochet and knit stickers, and they are both from Happy Cutie Studio. And then these Create stickers are from Kina Prints, and also these cute little painting stickers. So that's everything in the crafting section, and I love pulling from there. 
Um, next is the reading section. I don't have a lot in here, but I do love reading, and I know that eventually I'll have more stickers in there. This is by Abundance of Erica, which is now The Sticker Party, and I love this so much. So basically what it is is when you finish reading a book, you can track it in your planner, and then you can fill out how many stars it was. So give it a rating out of five, so that's really fun. These are cute, too. These are from Bubbly Mon Sticker Co., and then these are by Coffee Monsters Co. So that's everything in reading. The next section is pets. As I said, I have two dogs, so I love getting puppy stuff. This one is Bubbly Mon Sticker Co. I have actually just stamped these out and um, put them onto some sticker paper. Same with those ones. These ones um, I just created for myself. They're not actually in my Etsy shop, but basically that's me and my little puppy Daisy. Um, I forget which shop these were from and those I had just made. These I love. They're from Kina Prince and it's a little pet shop. So when we get dog food, I can keep track of it in my planner. Um, I forget where those ones are from. These ones are Once More With Love. So cute. And again, these are just some stickers I made for myself. These ones are from Rainbow Bunny Co. And then these ones were gifted to me, so I'm not sure which company those were from. So that's what's in pets. The next section is travel, and my husband and I don't do a ton of traveling, so I don't have a lot of stickers here, but I do have two. I have these cute little road ones, so that's cute for a road trip. And then I also have these cute trailer ones. My mother and father-in-law um, have a trailer, so we'll be going up there lots in the summer. And then the next one is movies and TV. So for that one, I had lots of like cute ones for TVs and movie. I love this section as well. These are from my Etsy shop and it's a little mouse and he's inside of a little popcorn container. These are from Once More With Love. These ones are awesome. You can write on the screen what movie you saw. Again, those ones are from my shop. This is the bigger size. So it's like the bigger and the small size. And I think those are listed in my shop right now. Um, this is the Coffee Monsters Co. These stickers are so cool. This is the sticker party. And if you like Survivor or if you have a TV show that you really love, check out her shop because she has all different like stickers that are related to different TV shows. And you can totally play along. So you can write who got kicked off and then put their little sticker of them, which is so cool. And she hand drew those, which is amazing. I also have her bachelorette set. I did use her bachelor set this past bachelor season. Here is her bachelorette set. So, so fun. You can like fill out who you think will win and keep track when those are on. These are from Weefed and Olive 2. Um, I forget where those ones are from. Stick With Me Shop, Once More With Love, Stick With Me Shop, and Rainbow Bunny Co. Those are so cute of the little Netflix. And these are from my shop. They're little marquees with bows on them, which are pretty sweet. So that's everything from the movies and TV. The next section is social media. And because I do a lot of planner videos and I'm on two different design teams, I have a lot of social media stickers. So these are from my shop. These are for my YouTube channel. Um, I have the edit, upload, taking pictures, and filming. And that also comes in the larger size there. I have these, which so obsessed with these. I love Jurassic Park, so these are like the greatest stickers ever. They're from Fox and Cactus, and I'm afraid to say that I am totally hoarding these. I've wanted to use them so many times on spreads, and I just couldn't do it, so I might have to get another sheet of those. These ones, I'm not sure where those ones came from. They were gifted to me. I have two sheets of these. These are the Once More with Love new release stickers, and they have glitter on them. They're so cute. So I thought those were cool because I can keep track of when I have planner videos going up. Um, the next one is the Coffee Monsters Co. And those are cute little sparkly pencils. Once More with Love, Coffee Monsters Co., Coffee Monsters Co. And the next um, label I have is Seasons and Weather. So I have these from Abundance of Erica and these cute little weather ones which are from Joy of Planning. And then um, the next category is Birthday. So here are the birthday ones I have. This one is Rainbow Bunny Co. Um, I'm not sure where that one's from. This is Once More with Love. This is cute with the little countdown. Um, these are from my shop but I had just snipped them up. Not sure where those ones came from. Here's the other bit from my shop. And those ones which I had cut up. 
These ones are from Happy Cutie Studio. More from my shop that I had just snipped up. This was from a kit that I used previously and they had birthday labels left over so I just put them in the birthday category and those ones are from Happy Cutie Studio. So that was birthday. Um, the next section is holidays. I don't have a lot of these ones, but um, I just recently got this from Once More With Love, and it was all cute little Easter stickers. This one was St. Patrick's Day, also from Once More With Love, and this one was from Coffee Monsters Co. And then the next one, you guys can probably guess, I would totally have a bow header because I'm obsessed with bows, so anytime I see bow stickers, I, like, cannot say no these ones are from the Coffee Monsters Co. They're really cute quarter boxes. These are from Kina Prince, and they have little polka dots on them. These bow dividers, I have, I think, five of these. I know, I'm trouble. And these ones are from Blush and Chai. So here's what a full sheet of them looks like. And they're like little headers, and they're just so perfect for in my planner. I love them. And then the last sheet of bows is from Panda Bird Design, and I've used a ton of those as well. So that was bows. The next set um, of stickers I have to show is the category emojis, and I only have a few of these ones. This is from Once More With Love. It was a freebie. This one is Stick With Me Shop, and then this was Happy Planner Gal. It was a whole bunch of really cute Tsum Tsums. And then the next one is just miscellaneous. I don't have anything in there, but if ever I don't have a category for it, it can go there. I have a category for glitter headers, um, I have quite a bit of glitter headers. These ones are from my shop, and I do have some listed right now. So um, I'm totally obsessed with them. I've been using them so much. So this is the purple one. You can purchase them like single sheets, or you can purchase them as a set. Um, here is the red and pink, orange and yellow, the green colors, blue colors, and then this one is neutral, so it's got like... Um, different blacks and silvers and um, golds on there and then I also have some other ones these ones I had just purchased offline and I don't like love the glitter on these ones it's kind of more like doesn't show up as well so this is like chunky glitter and then this one's more the fine glitter but I was using those before and then these are from Panda Bird Design and I absolutely adore her glitter headers um, as you can tell I've used a ton of them and so these ones were more like neutral colors that I had purchased from her shop and they were on the matte sticker paper. Then I have a header section and um, in this spot I usually just put leftover bits that I have that are headers. I have these which were from when Glam Planner very first came out. They're her different little pastel headers. So these are all from Glam Planner and I've been totally hoarding them. I need to use them. And then these ones I had purchased offline and printed. They're like scalloped headers. Um, these are just bits that I had left over from um, that was Glam Planner, Happy Planner Gal, Glam Planner, um, Scribble Prince Co., Glam Planner, Glam Planner. Um, this one was L Plans and L Plans. So those are all in my header section. And then the next section is full boxes. This is basically just full boxes that are left over. I keep my stickers that are upcoming for my spreads in another section of um of organization so I'll show you that at the end of the video so this is just leftover full boxes so this is from blush and chai scribble prints co um, these were some glitter headers that I printed out and it didn't cut um, I um, the cuts weren't working on my thing so I'm just gonna cut these out later and use them as full boxes I didn't want to throw it away this is from happy planner gal and panda bird design so that was in full boxes. For half boxes, I just have, I think, two sheets. I have these half boxes, which are glittery by Panda Bird Design. Love, love, love her shop. And then these are her scalloped um, half boxes, like headers kind of, which are adorable. The next one is flags and checklists. And again, these are just pieces that are kind of like left over from kits. So this is from L Plan, L Plan, Glam Planner. Um, and then these are just flags. That's from Stick With Me Shop, Scribble Prints Co., um, Glam Planner, Stick With Me Shop, and Happy Planner Gal. And I do actually pull from those sometimes when I'm doing my planning. I try to anyways. Then I have the section for icons and again, pieces that were left over. So this was left over from L Plans, um, Blush and Chai, Glam Planner, Stick With Me Shop, um, Glam Planner, Stick With Me Shop, Scribble Prints Co., 
happy planner gal, happy planner gal, and happy planner gal. And then I also have a spot for washi, and this has the leftover bits of washi from Kit, so this is from Blush and Chai. Um, glam Planner, Glam Planner, Glam Planner, or sorry, that one was Scribble Prints Co. Glam Planner, and I think that was just a printable that I had from like a long, long time ago. The next section I have is banners, and I don't actually have anything in there right now. Um, and then I have trackers. These are just trackers that I made for myself, and these are also from my Etsy shop. They're glittery. I have a section for deco, and I have a little bit of bits of deco that's left over. This one was Glam Planner. Glam Planner and Glam Planner. She gives so much deco on her sheets. I always have it left over. I love her deco. And then this next section, I don't have a header there, but in here I store stickers that I have doubles of. And so sometimes you get freebies from shops and you already had it. Or in this case, I purchased a bundle from Stick With Me Shop and you had to purchase the actual bundle, which came with two of these. So I did have extras. So this was the Tofu Pandas from Stick With Me Shop. And so I have two of those. And then I was gifted this um, from Coffee Monster Co. She included that as a freebie in my order. So um, I have those as my little extras. And then the next spot that I have is kit scraps. So anything that's left over from a kit that I don't have a spot for, I plan to put there. Or if I'm in a hurry and I haven't divided it out, that's where it'll go. And then in the back here, I just have all of my little cello bags that are left over. So that pretty much does it for um, that. And I'll just really quickly show you the other place where I have my planner stickers, I do have Mambi stickers, which I store on my Rascog. And maybe if you guys are interested, let me know and I can do a Rascog cart tour. It is basically all planner stuff that's in my Rascog cart. But I do have a little bit of stickers in this. This is my Reset Girl sticker book. And I store my cute little teeny stickers in here from Glam Planner because I love them so much. And I like to pull them for my spreads like always so I always use this little sticker book so this one is a cute little vacuuming one and look at the little bunny on there this one is a reading one so these are all from glam planner this one she's doing her nails and doing the laundry and then I have these two this one is she's shopping and a sick day so that is all that I have in there but I totally want to fill that up and then the other place I have stickers as in this little um this little, I forget what these are called, like collapsible um, accordion file. I got this at the dollar store and this is how I store all of my kits. So I'll just show this super, super quick. Um, basically in the front, I keep track of a little sheet showing um, what sticker kits I'm going to use when. I have it all planned out. I put stickers in the front that I haven't yet shown in haul videos. And then I have all of my months. So each month is there and I put in order what kit I'm going to use. So for eight April, or excuse me, this is for May. These are the sticker kits that I'm going to be using. And then I had purchased the monthly kits from um, K Stickers Co. I love them. And so I've already put all of them into my planner. And so I just put the extras in here so that I have it in case I need it. And then I've got all of my June kits. Cute unicorn one. And I'm so excited to use this one. This is from Glam Planner. I'm like totally hoarding that one. And then my July kits, um, I have a few different ones. Um, there's another one and I keep um, bits that I may be going to use again. Here is some for September. And I actually have quite a few more on the way. So that is just quickly how I store that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you to be able to make one of these yourself. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, I will link my original video where I showed how I went about and explained how I went about making this um, sticker organization and I hope that you guys enjoyed I hope this video wasn't too long it's like a half an hour long I apologize hopefully you guys like seeing sticker hauls so if you haven't I would love if you subscribed and gave this video a thumbs up so I know you like to see more types of organization and planner videos like this and I will see you guys in the next video thanks so much bye now